A 120mm PWM fan stacked on a black painted aluminum tower for under $30. Yeah, that's right. This is hands down the best budget affordable CPU cooler available right now. And yeah, in this video, guys, I'm gonna explain to you why it is so damn good. All right, coming up. How is it going, guys? Robin here on Chips Media, bringing you the best tips and tools for gaming. On this channel, you'll find PC components, tech gadgets, and console accessories, as well as product reviews. If you're interested in that, consider subscribing. In this video, we're gonna take a greater look at Artic's latest entry level CPU cooler. With that said, let's get started. All right, so back in 2017, Artic released their Freezer 33 Tower CPU cooler, a CMI passive model with great cooling performance to a dirt cheap price tag Arctic received great feedback from the crowd not only for its performance but also for the easy installation mounting procedure and wide range of supporting platforms with all feedback Arctic went back to the drawing board and came back with this the Arctic Freezer 33 eSports 1 by the way Arctic also sells another version with two fans that one is called the 33 eSports edition anyway what's new is the uh, bionics fan series a fan with a motor that generates lower coil temperatures than typical 120 millimeter fans giving the fan four times longer lifespan which made arctic extend the warranty to a whopping 10 year the motor absorbs more vibrations uh, compared to uh, traditional dc motors resulting in a quieter fan altogether now with a new black coating on the 150 millimeter high tower according to arctic we should be able to see even better cooling performance the result is a very nice looking 49 fin tall tower if you ask me there is no rgb but we got a total of four colors to choose from here green yellow white and what i decided to go with red now, taking a better look at the tower we got a total of four heat pipes which are six millimeter in diameter made out of copper which as you can see has direct contact contact with the CPU IHS or head spreader. The rest of the 49 fin tower makes up from aluminum in a matte black finish. Putting it on the scale, it weights in at about 676 grams, complete with the installed fan. The Freezer 33 Esports 1 has a recommended TDP of 200 watts and a bigger brother Esports Edition, with the only difference being the extra 120 fan, has a max TDP of 320 watts as we know already AMD and Intel measures the TDP in different ways so you should take this number with a grain of salt still it gives us a reference what to expect no no less it support most platforms out there the Intel's LGA 2066 and the 2011-3 as well as the 1150 series and yeah of course AMD's AM4 platform it measures 123 millimeter in width and 88 millimeter in length with the fan installed as i mentioned earlier it's 150 millimeter in height which is right about what similar coolers measures at be quiet pure rock for example is uh, 155 and cooler monsters hyper 212 evo is 159 respectively thanks to the improved fan motor arctic sells both the esports one and the esports edition with the whopping 10 year warranty this is actually eight years longer warranty time than what cooler Moses gives us or seven more years than what be quiet pure rock which are two of the freezers 33 main competitors all right so talking a bit more about the fan this is arctic's latest creation it's called the bionics f120 it is a pwm operated four pin fan and operates between 200 to 1800 rpm as i mentioned earlier it comes in four different colors red green yellow and white and it comes pre-installed with rubber dampening material the cable is nicely braided and thanks to the fourth pin the motherboard is able to adjust the rpm for us which should give us a quieter system more on that in a second the mounting procedure and installation was a rather easy operation and yeah i'm about to show you how this is done now, since i'm using the am4 socket there's no back plate on the back of the motherboard to change so all you need to do here is to add the thermal compound included in the box and 
yeah, you gotta be careful when doing it so that you don't end up looking like a fool on film. Well, anyway, line up, <laughs> line up the mounting clips and secure them to the base of the tower. Line up the tower over the CPU heat spreader and use the four screws to secure the tower to the motherboard. Once in place, add the included fan and simply plug the four pin PWM connector to the motherboard and you're good to go. The motherboard will determine the fan RPM depending on the CPU temperature and hopefully during normal surfing you shouldn't even hear the fan at all since the fan can go as low as 200 RPM. I gotta say guys over the years I've installed a wide range of different coolers from all-in-one water cooling solutions with radiators to bigger towers such as the D14 from Noctua to entry level air coolers such as the Hyper 212. The installation for the Freezer 33 Esports is by far one of the easiest I ever stumbled across. Everything feels well thought out. The mounting is simple yet very effective and once you get the tower in place it stays and there is nothing that is going to make it fall off. You shouldn't be worried even if you travel with your case. Now another thing that made the whole installation so much easier was the wires holding the fans in place. Since Arctic have made specific holes holding the wires in place they didn't fall off and made the mounting of the fans so much easier than what we've seen on examples in the past. This is something that I would like to see more brands learn from. Well done Arctic. The installation is in another league than what you typically see in this entry level price point. Now as for the temperatures to give you guys some sort of reference I've been using the Noctua U12 fitted with two gentle typhoon fans operating in 1200 RPM and AMD stock cooler, the Wrath Spire. Yeah, these are the results. Now we are running on a slightly overclocked Ryzen 7 1700 at 3.7 GHz. So you should expect to see higher temperatures here than what you normally would see on this puppy running in stock settings. That being said, during idle, temps stay within normal levels. But once we put some heavy load on it, this is where things get interesting. Now instead of doing heavy stress testing, I decided to go with another approach by simply just jamming a set of different games. The U12 from Noctua takes the shortest draw by a few degrees, most likely because the dual fan setup, AMD Star Cooler, the Wrath Spire falls a bit behind, giving the freezer a comfortable second place and manages to stay within fine temperatures. Considering the overclocking applied in all scenarios, you should see even better temperatures running in stock clocks. Now, I am more than happy with the results in mind. If you want to cut another 3 to 4 degrees, simply install another fan for a push and pull configuration. Now what about sound level then? Well, during idle, I wasn't able to hear any noise coming from the fan at all, probably because it's running at its lowest 200 RPM speed. Now since I'm running a overclocked system, running benchmarks and gaming for longer sessions, the fan ramps up and you can definitely hear it with the side panel off but with the side panel in place I wasn't able to hear any clear evidence of the fan. Something worth mentioning is that the four cooling pipes are not wide enough to cover the CPU head spreader. Arctic says that despite the contact surface doesn't cover the full protection cap, doesn't really matter, it still covers the whole die area completely. This makes sense and if they would have made the base wider it probably wouldn't have made the cooling any better, only more expensive. Now in terms of performance, the Freezer 33 surpasses the included stock cooler from AMD and because the way the fan is mounted it's gonna help the air push out of the case rather than just spinning it around. As for the stock cooler, with two fans installed as for the eSports edition, we should have seen even better temperatures but as of right now I'm still able to have the same voltage and clocks on my Ryzen as before. Even though the temps are a little bit higher now, we never get near the throttling limit here. And 
since we're running with the uh, Bionics F120 PWM fan, the motherboard can adjust the fan curve depending on the system's load rather than operating in max RPM all the time. For anyone that is looking for a solid budget entry level cooler with hassle free installation, I couldn't recommend the Arctic Freezer 33 Esports one enough. It surpasses the biggest competitors such as the Cooler Masters 212 Evo and Pure Rock with better warranty, easier mounting and installation but to the same price. Now as far as look and aesthetic goes, I can only speak for myself but I really like the black matte finish along with the red color makes the cooler pop in a very interesting way and with a price tag of $29.99 makes the Arctic 33 Freezer Esports 1 a no brainer in my book. It's gonna be interesting to see what Arctic have in mind for us in the upcoming future. It would have been cool to see a slightly bigger cooler with RGB as well but uh, yeah <laughs> time can only tell right. Again huge thanks to Arctic for sending me this cooler guys let me know in the comments all in one water coolers or tower coolers let me know in the comments below. Now on this channel I cover a variety of gaming related peripherals, tech console and PC components such as headsets, headphones, mics, monitors and so on. Recently I listed the best budget gaming mice as well as the best mechanical gaming keyboards link to those videos can be found down below with that said who am i to talk about this but first off i've been a gamer since i can't remember i'm a tech savvy and i worked in the gaming peripheral scene in the past i also built an overclock computer for 12 years and i've been a content creator for three now there's a ton of videos just around the corner for you guys if you're looking for the best budget monitor headset keyboard headphones mouse pad and more consider subscribing also don't forget to tap the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any uploads on my end thank you so much for watching this video my name is robin here on chips media until next time guys have an awesome day all right bye